exercise seven show the status of the condensing fans. This is the goal, show uh, the picture of a fan over the picture of the chiller. Uh, the application running in the controller doesn't have a variable representing the status of the fans, so we can use another variable. I will use unit on, that is uh, the status of the unit. Another idea, probably would be also better, is to use the status of the compressor, compressor one. Anyway, I will use unit on. So when unit on is true, we will see, we want to see uh, the three images, the three fans, while when it is false, uh, they must disappear. Okay, let's start. Let's find the image of the fan. Here is, it is in the Karel Boolean, rotating fan. Here is, we can resize a little bit bigger. Well, now how to make it visible or not visible? We have to use something new called Simple Dynamic. So right click the widget. You, you can apply this to any widget, any object display. This is the correct name on the screen. In this case is the fan. So right click, add Simple Dynamic and appear this very big window. There are four sections, Write, Event, Result and Action. The most used are 1 and 3. So basically is when to do what. For example, when, you, when the user click, double click the mouse or remove the mouse over the widget or when the user press a button of the keyboard uh, when uh, on a given condition uh, the value of a variable is in a given range, for example, or single node that is uh, according to the value of a variable. That is what we will use uh, in this exercise. So when this event uh, is uh, occurs, uh, the system will execute the action. Action that can be rotate the widget, move the widget, change the size, skew, change the color, the opacity, okay, many other options, and also change the visibility. That is what we need. Result is not, uh, is not mandatory, it is an optional, optional step. For example, when the, the user clicks, it takes the value of a variable and apply the action according to that value of the variable. Anyway, later we will see the help where there are some examples of this. So close. In our case, we have to do something when the status according to the unit status. So the event is a single node that is a variable. The variable is unit on value type is boolean in this case is automatic when you select the variable it automatically select the correct data type boolean is good so when this event occurs what happen Visi visibility so if the variable is true visible we have to add another option doesn't matter in this case if you add before or after because there are only two options. For other uh, action uh, could be important. For example, if you want to change the color according to the value of a variable, uh, five different color, in that case, the sequence uh, is important. Anyway, here, true, visible, false, invisible. Okay, that's enough. And, uh, okay, so, so if you click the widget, uh, here in the dynamic uh, panel, you see it. If you want to edit it, attention, don't right click uh, simple dynamic because you will add here, here is a new one. So if you want to just edit the existing one, click the widget and double click here. So here is uh, unit on and visible invisible. We can make also the fan rotate when the unit is on. For this, we can use the parameter base. 
So when the variable is true, the fan will rotate. In this case, we can use the same variable. So when Newton is true, the fan will rotate. We can define also the speed. Next, we have to do the same for the other two condensing fans. We could repeat exactly the same operations, but it is easier to copy and paste and paste. So each one has its simple dynamic. So when you copy and paste, it pastes also the simple dynamic. The simple dynamic is a wizard. So when you close this window, the system will create a bunch of JavaScript lines that performs the action that we have selected. We can see those lines clicking the script button. Here is. So there are three blocks of code, very similar. I don't give uh, uh, details about, uh, about this code because this is the matter of the next exercise. Anyway, for now it's not important to understand how this works. Close and uh, we are ready to test. So we can distribute. Click, reload frame. Ah, uh, now I remember another thing. Another way to prevent the issue of the cache, so the reload frame and so on, is to open a page in uh, incognito mode. Because in incognito, uh, the browser doesn't save uh, the images, doesn't cache the images, so it, uh, you will not have the, the issue of the cache. Anyway, I'm using this mode, reload, unit is off, switch on, and here, here are the three rotating condensing fans. Off, on, well, it works. Well, quick review. We have placed the three rotating fan uh, widget, uh, we right click and uh, add simple dynamic. Uh, we used uh, the um, event single node that is according to the value of a variable, unit on. The action was visibility, true false, visible, invisible. Only that. Ah, we have also um, set the parameter base to unit on again in order to make the fan rotate uh, according to the unit status. This summarizes the properties of the simple dynamic. Here it mentions also the quick dynamic, but this is the matter of another exercise. So we will be back here in one of the next exercises. Another thing is that you can apply several simple dynamic on the same widget. For example, one that show or hide the widget, make it visible or invisible, like our exercise, and after another one that changes the color according to the value of another variable. Okay, more than one. Here in this uh, screenshot there are uh, about uh, 10. And uh, this is a wizard, so when you close this window, it saves uh, inside somewhere. A bunch of uh, JavaScript line that performs uh, that action. Next exercise is uh, focused on this. So for now, it's enough.